<laughs> what up, guys? It's Kishardio. Today, we are doing the third, third episode of the Super Duke Carbon Build Series. As usual, I've got my man Max with me here. Today, what we are doing is installing two pieces. The first is this undertail section in carbon, gloss, beautiful. That's gonna go, Max, go ahead, show us where that's gonna go, will you? Underneath, right down there. It's gonna go underneath here. And that is just gonna be bonerific. At least a 50 horsepower gain. That's a minimum of 50. Minimal. And the second thing is, maybe the biggest chunk of carbon I've ever seen from Moto Composite, it's the rear cowl, and it is just all gloss carbon. This is what we currently have, is this black gloss plastic. Looks okay, but this is gonna look amazing. Now, if you saw the first and second episode, you would have seen Max install this fairing, this front fender, and black carbon gloss. So now we're tying out the back of the bike, and uh, this is the third episode. And like I said, this is coming from Moto Composites. Uh, so far, we've had a great experience installing this stuff. It's extremely high quality, very sharp looking. So, pretty excited about it. Definitely check out the other videos if you haven't seen them yet. There's a, a, a comment link in the description below. So make sure you take a look at Moto Composites if you haven't looked there yet to see if they have your bike there. And I'm going to stop talking, turn it over to Max. Max, what do you need? What are you working on? I was trying to find the right sizing and I thought I had the wrong one, but I had the right one. It's late, you know, you never know. It's not that see late. what happens. Yeah. It's late for me. Yeah. Max has been doing pretty well so far. I think what we're going to have to do here is take off these two side panels from both sides. Yep. And then I feel like there's two screws under here. We'll pop off the cowl, see if we can reach them from under the tail. Do you need that light off, by the way? It would be nice. Yeah. Very nice. Let's do it. So we'll get one last look at the DRL because it's just so mean on the black. Beautiful. And we will kill it so that we don't blind our mechanic. There we go. All right. That's one side started. This thing is coming together nicely. Like I said, guys, the huge debate, tell me in the comments below, but the big debate is this front fairing here, do we want any decal? So we've got this R decal on the OEM fairing. You see no. that? It's a sticker. And now we're trying to figure out on the black one that we just installed, this black carbon fiber fairing, do we want to add a sticker that would, you know, take away from that carbon a bit, or do we want to leave it plain? Let's take a step back and just look at the bike. It's hard to say. This won't make the video. You say that about everything that makes the video. <laughs> that won't make the video. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dangerous man. So you just took, where are those two little pieces at? Uh, I took them down there. Yeah. Oh, these little guys. So I'm pretty sure that we can get these in carbon too. In fact, those may be on the way. But these are the guys who sit like right down here. That's going to look good if that's in carbon. That's going to be a sharp finish. So this is the piece right here, this whole piece that you're removing. I had to take off the front seat and then there's a cover here. There's the battery connection and everything in here, but there's two screws way underneath all this that are connecting that bottom panel. So I managed to find one way over here. Yes, perfect. Don't move. I'm on it. This I did not think was gonna happen. Now it's under this up here. Oh, there you go. Boom. Now that is a naked Super Duke tail. Wow. Hello, little friend. So that's the old one? Yeah. Right? Now let me put the new one up next to it. Ta-da. That is a good change. This is dirty even let's, on the inside. Let's do a Look switch. Yeah. You got that? I got this? Ta-da. Good job. All right. Now here, let's do a watch. The amateur mechanic is in, a, in his natural element, not knowing what the fuck he's doing. I'm gonna try to screw this in a little bit so that it holds just enough. I think I got it. Now I wanna do the other side while I'm holding this. Do you need me to hold something? Yeah, just hold this up so it doesn't put strain on it and okay. break. So I've got this. And I'm gonna try to go to the other side. I'm gonna throw this thing right now. Why are you using that? I don't know. It doesn't. Know. It doesn't, it doesn't it was a work. It's a gift to both of us from my mom. Well, not it's just you. I'm over here, and Mrs. Cachardio is scolding me that I need to keep recording because I keep missing Max's somewhat funny. Because thing. I'm so good at this. <laughs> Max, when are you gonna get that acro pipe off yours and do like a, a straight through decap? You know what? 
You're thinking about it? I'm not. How about the time you did a wheelie in front of a cop, sped away, and left me to deal with it? Fine, keep working, I'll tell the story, because <laughs> this is actually a funny story. Doing what anyone with a Super Duke would do with an open highway and literally no space, I just lifted a wheelie. And a cop immediately to your left. Yeah, but I knew he had to pull over for the accident and he wasn't gonna do shit, and basically just lifted a wheelie past him, and Max chose to stay within the confines of the law. <laughs> And nothing happened. We were totally fine. We no, were totally and fine. then you proceeded to book it at an ungodly speed because you were worried that they were going to come after you. And what did you know was behind you? You. And what was I riding? A super duke. A very similar bike. Dude. So not only were you safe because you sped away, you left like your buddy behind just in case. You know who Darwin is? You don't need to be the fastest, just faster than the guy who's slower than you. Well, maybe if you didn't piss off the lion, you wouldn't have to be running. Dude, I'm at the top of the food chain. The lion can suck my dick. You are no shark, my friend. Are you kidding me? Give I'm me Megalodon! Did you not know where you were going either? Yeah. <laughs> I almost, I did pass the exit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did pass the exit yeah. completely. And then I was like, you idiot. You sped away. I couldn't even show you that we were past the exit. <laughs> where, there it is at your feet. Give me that. Give me the ratchet, please. No, stop taping. Give me the fucking ratchet. But what about the You're light? You're not even recording. But what about the light? You're not even recording. I am recording. What about the light? I'm, oh, I'm good with light. the light. I'm good. Well, take it out of my hand. It's not recording. It is. I, I see the big red. Oh, it is. <laughs> take the light. Take the light. <laughs> do you like to do wheelies? Because I don't think you can do that anymore. This is not going to hand handle that. Are you joking? Or are you <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you actually just that. I almost assaulted you in front of everyone. <laughs> That is juicy. I like that. That is good. Okay, so what's up, Max? We got the final bolts in. Uh -huh. Now we just need to reconnect. It's probably part of the ECU or something here. That's to plug in the KTM XC1 tool so that they can run all the diagnostics. Oh, is that all that is? Um, if you were this piece, what would you be connected to? That doesn't connect to anything. It's a plastic casing over that. Oh, so it does. So yep. why did I pull it out before? Where did I pull it out from? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm just leaving it there. Yeah. You just need to tighten this thing back down. I need a screw for that. Where'd you put it? I have it right here. Good work, Max. So, Max, here is the main Super Duke seat. The passenger, not the passenger, but the rider seat. Should yep. Two switches in the. Yep, just right. make sure you get those and those two things in, in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's the old one. Uh huh. Here's the new one. Sex. And also, for reference, if you can see this in the light, this is the stock seat that comes for passengers. And I have the race cowl as well, but I also kept on the passenger pegs. I occasionally take people, so I kept that on for now. Here's the final piece. So show us what you're gonna switch on the inside of that. What I'm gonna want? Those rubber pieces inside of that cowl need to get put into that. So oh, that these come out, you're supposed to replace them? Yeah. So the one challenge here is they're... You just pull them out. And I mean, them they're, it could rip, but I'll do it. Wow. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Wouldn't it be funny if I dropped it right now? That would not even be remotely funny. I'd laugh a little bit. I've got one that's just right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is good on the fairing. Oh wow. Classy. This turned out really nice. This did come out extremely nicely. Look extremely nicely. You really do need to replace this. You got some scratches. Wow. That is beautiful, that front fender. Alright guys, anyways, like I said, this is the end of the third uh, carbon fiber Super Duke build. Again, Moto Composites link down in the description. Definitely check it out. If you do end up getting something, let them know you came from the channel. They, of course, helped me pick all of the stuff for the Super Duke, helped me get it set up. It was awesome. Those guys are really cool, very knowledgeable. And again, I went with black gloss, but you can do multiple colors. You can do gloss, matte, you can do weaves. Max here, you've been phenomenal. Is there anything you want to say parting to our guys before you go? They're going to see you in episode four where we do the rest of this stuff. Oh, but boy. How do you feel so far? I feel like this is a good start. This it's coming along. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It's unique. Yep. I like it. Yep. We definitely, it is unique. We definitely have got some wood to chop, but this thing is well on its way to looking ferocious. I got to tell you, dude, for size comparison, you're not a small man, but this bike is just <laughs> massive. This bike is absolutely huge. It just dwarfs any human. What do you got? I just want to say that is a wrap. If I'm left, then he made no sense And he tell your friends and they call your friends Baby, never mind, never mind
Mark.